As the Delran football team learned Saturday, trying to prepare for Pemberton creates a bona fide conundrum. Sure, you can put an extra guy wide on Taro Gaither. You can put an extra player wide on Antoine Wilson, number 14. But you're going to run out of extra guys long before Pemberton runs out of offensive weapons. They had double team Taro majority of the game, so left the outside open. If teams want to try to take away our two top receivers, they're not going to have enough people in the box, and, and they just open holes. And, and we did a good job. Shadow, shadow, good cut. There you go, Robbie. Robert Fortune carried 16 times for 203 yards and a touchdown Saturday. He credited his offensive line with his career high numbers. Uh, they were they were fantastic today. I I love them. They gave me wide open holes. I took advantage of what my line gave me. We knew we was uh, I was close to two, and just wanted to push to get that. My season and my career high. Uh, I don't know what to say. I just want to thank my line for that. Another weapon that emerged was Desmond Johnson, who had a pair of catches for 43 yards. The kids get on him a lot because he's the only one that hasn't scored a touchdown. They just say he, re he doesn't want to score touchdowns, but he, you know, he did a good job today. And he got in the end zone for the first time on an 11-yard catch from Joe Benson in the second quarter. Del Rand's lone touchdown came on a nine-yard pass from Gianni Bryant Lopez to Sherrod Sanders long after the game was decided. Pemberton won it 40 to seven. So, you know, take a look at the film, see what we got to do to get better. Um, I'm pretty much in a state of shock right now. I really didn't expect us to be on the lower end of this type of score. Thought we'd be more competitive today. So there's probably a lot we got to do and the uh, video will help us out. For the Burlington County Times, this is John Lewis.